There's a reason why I don't work in my room. Let me show you my room. to say I'm a very messy person. A recent study suggests that a messy environment promotes creativity. Now I don't think that research applies to my room, so I said to myself, Hey Jen, you cannot live your life like this anymore. So I bribed John with food in hopes that he'll help me clear all the junk in my room. The next step is to figure out how I want the room to look like and you guys know how I like to be extra all the time. Well, yep, I've created a mood board, okay? So let me walk you through it. I'm inspired by cherry blossoms because it makes me feel calm and at peace and happy, especially coupled with the blue background. And also, I don't want it to be a single colored wall. I imagine it to have like an ombre effect where it looks like a painting in itself. But since my experience with painting is that of a four-year-old, I decided to go to the paint shop to consult a professional. He told me a bunch of things. I pretended as if I understood him, bought some paint and left. Hey everybody, welcome to day number two. Look at my beautiful empty room. Today we're going to start painting. First, I gather my equipment in a totally Instagrammable flat lay manner and then the real deal begins. Okay, so I've got my sandpaper right now. We're going to smoothen up the surface. So the wall is kind of like your skin, you know, you have to exfoliate it so that it's smooth and ready for foundation. My room is a place for me to work. I want to be able to edit and shoot my videos here. And I want this room to be a place where I can unwind. So the idea is to keep it minimalistic but yet interesting and uniquely me. So um, I made a little mistake. Can you see this? Yeah, no problem. If you've got wet towel, just wipe it off. No one will ever know. See? It's coming off. It's water-based, that's why. Oh man, I sound like a pro. Come on, somebody hire me already. It's time for us to add some texture and I've chosen this Dulux Ambience Linen right here. I'm gonna paint it, check it out. We have this, it's called a texture brush. You see this? You see this looks like grass? Okay, what you're gonna do is this. Do you see it? So that is the effect I'm looking for. And uh, what we're gonna do right now is just copy and paste for the rest of the room and using different linen colors. So we just had dinner and um, the paint's dried. We put in all the furniture, we assembled some furniture, we put in some plants and remember my mood board, remember the colours, remember the ombre effect? Well, are you guys ready to see the transformation montage? Let's go! the results I didn't expect it to look this good because halfway through I was like hmm is it gonna be good is it gonna be good but yeah it turned out amazing I'm so happy the moment I enter the room it feels soothing it feels like I want to be here relax but at the same time I can work and I like how everything is minimalistic so yeah I really really believe that my dream has been realized has been materialized and most importantly DIY yo I did it myself, yo! <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions how I did all of this, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. If not, give a thumbs up, okay? But then again, as usual, I am not telling you what to do. You be you. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day ahead. Mwah.